Hey, it's your pal Fernbark, and today we're going to take a little look at a couple of beef stroganoff recipes. One from Peak Refuel, and the other one from Mountain House. And I also have a third one that I can't remember. I should maybe look. My at third that. one is from Base Camp, which I've never had any of their meals before. I just found them on Amazon, and I bought this just to have a third thing to try. We'll see how it works out. So, the, for the purpose of this comparison, I'm going to compare the new Mountain House package to the uh, current Peak Beef Stroganoff package. I also have the old uh, Mountain House package, and uh, it's a little bit different. The old Mountain House package is 4.8 ounces, and the new one is 4.3, so it's a little bit lighter weight, and it has a little bit less protein to it. Now, one thing that's interesting is that this base camp is 6 ounces, or 6.6, .6, which is quite a bit larger than the other two. It doesn't really feel like it. Uh, I wish I'd have brought a scale along to try them out, so I can't actually tell you if it's actually the same weight or not or I mean the, the actual weight of 6.6 .6 ounces. Let's get the boring nutritional information out of the way. The uh, peak refuel, if you eat the whole package, is 810 calories and 41 grams of protein, which is quite a bit. Uh, the Mountain House is 24 grams of protein and 560, quite a bit less. And it is also quite a bit saltier. It's 1,570 milligrams. And the peak refuel is 950. Let's take a look at the base camp now you got to do a little math the whole package is two and a half servings so it's uh, 37 and a half grams of protein and 700 calories the sodium oh wow so that'd be I got the sodium in this method. package is 1600 milligrams which is the highest of all three packages just barely beating out the mountain house so just to see what you would have uh, purchased with the old style mountain house 260 calories shoot I thought I'd I think it's 650 calories. The sodium is out insane. It's 2,000 milligrams of sodium, and it's 27.5 grams of protein in this package. So that's what you got there. Here's a look inside the Peak Refuel package. One thing I noticed right away is that you got some big pieces of mushroom in there. Look at that guy. So they really have some nice uh, features to this. We'll see how it tastes though. Mountain House is quite a bit different in appearance. Their noodles are a little whiter. I, well, I think it's because Mountain House cooks all theirs together and then puts it in the package. Their mushrooms are bigger than I remember before, but they're not as true to a mushroom shape that the Peak Refuel has. This is the base camp right here. Not a lot of the goodies right on top, just looks like noodles, although it could be buried down at the bottom. Let me see if I, I'm going to shake this around and see if I can't make I it look stir a little that bit. around and that's about the best I could get to come up to the top. All the seasoning is down in the crevice of the bottom of the gusseted pouch. So when you put water in here, you're going to make sure you really get a good stir on that because all your seasoning is down at the bottom. I There's practically, I didn't see any actual real mushrooms in there. And I don't know where they're getting their protein count from because I don't see any meat in there. It just looks like noodles and some pasta or noodles and some seasoning. So the uh, Peak Refuel wants three quarters of a cup of water, which seems like an incredibly small amount of water for this much food. I'm going to do it. We'll see how it goes. The Mountain House wants one and two thirds cups. I'm going to put one and a half in there. I've eaten enough of these. I feel like that's a, a pretty decent amount. Now this guy right here wants two and a half cups of water. There's no way that I'm going to put two cups in. Two and a half is it'd be soup for sure. Well, here we are. They've all had their time to rehydrate. I let them sit for seven minutes and then uh, opened every package up and re-stirred it and then uh, went ahead and let them sit for another four. So this is the peak refuel. It looks pretty good. I actually added a, probably another two ounces of water because it looked really dry. This is the mountain house. That looks pretty good. I put a less than they added uh, asked for in the bag, but that's the mountain house. And then here... It's the base camp, and I guess you can see, actually, the I'm not sure if that's a beef or the mushroom. There's just a cube, but it looks like a lot of pasta. I'm going to go ahead and put it out on a plate, and we'll have a better look. Here's the contents of the bag poured out onto a plate. This is, of course, the Peak Refuel. doesn't look too bad. And then we have the Mountain House, which I think actually looks the best of the bunch. The meatballs are pretty tiny, and that's the Mountain House. And then we got the base camp, which basically looks just like a giant plate of pasta. And actually has... The least appetizing smell of the trio. Here we go with my full COVID hairdo going on. This is a giant plate of pasta. 
I really don't see any meat in here. Well, there's little tiny beef chunks in there. Let's give her a try. It is incredibly bland. Unbelievably bland. Wow. Give the Mountain House a try. I've had the Mountain House beef stroganoff probably a dozen times. But we'll see if this uh, different recipe, which has less salt, is better. It's really good. Although a little bit bland. Not as bland as that base camp, but... <laughs> this is really quite the puzzle because even though the package says it has a total ton of salt in there, I feel like I need to salt this, and it definitely needs pepper. And I can't taste the beef at all, even though I can feel myself chewing on it. Kind of weird. It doesn't taste bad. It just doesn't taste like kind of what you th would hope it would taste like. Here we go. The uh, Peak Refuel, which I forgot the name of in like all of 10 minutes. It's got some really nice big chunks in there. Let's give her a taste. This is without a doubt the best of the lot. So this peak refuel could probably use like maybe just a little dash of pepper, but out of the three of them, it has the most flavor. It has the best sour cream flavor, it even has kind of a smoky flavor to it. That the, the, these other two are just really surprisingly bland. I mean, I typically love the Mountain House uh, beef stroganoff, but this, this is really good. Much like easily twice as good. Well, I've gone through everything a, a second and a third time when it's picking up. And I'm going to have to say that this uh, base camp is quite possibly one of the worst meals I've ever had. I think base camp must be a rebadged Wise food products because that's exactly kind of the junk flavor that this has. It tastes completely artificial. Even the noodles aren't good. They have a weird aftertaste on your mouth that aren't pleasant at all. The Mountain House is still pretty good. It's not great, but I'm spoiled after trying out that uh, Peak Refuel. I mean, it has nice... It looks better than the uh, Base Camp. It tastes much better. It could use a little something, but it's nowhere near as good as the uh, Peak Refuel. I've had a couple of the Peak Refuel menus that I thought were just total garbage. But this one, they totally nailed it. They got it perfect. This is a great meal. You got a nice big chunk of beef in there. You had actual mushroom looking i'm trying to get one here pieces of mushroom in there great job the sauce is by far the best just absolutely nothing wrong with this anyhow joe pellet fernberg thanks for watching catch you next time